Hello, beautifuls, and welcome back to the Speculation Desolation podcast. I am your host, Snow, and today we're going to be tackling an article done by the Washington Post. Now, this article has been circulating the news, social media, it was on Twitter, it was on Instagram. Memes have been made out of this, so I am pretty sure you have seen it. I am going to go ahead and put the link in the description below so you can go ahead and read it for yourself. But the title of this article is Trump retweeted a video with false COVID-19 claims. One doctor in it has said demons cause illnesses. Now, this doctor, her name is Stella Emanuel, does in fact believe that demons cause illnesses. But before you click off this podcast and run away and think that both Dr. Emanuel and I are crazy, I have to tell you that whatever you're thinking right now, I probably thought the same thing. I was thinking, who is this woman? How could she think that demons cause illnesses? What kind of doctor is she? Like, where did she get her diploma? But after taking a class that focused on bracketing and after I dwelled into the culture of a few different African nations, I have learned to see this article in a new way. Now, do I believe that demons cause illnesses after taking the class? No, I do not. So I'm probably with you on that one. But do I believe that she has reasons to think that demons cause illnesses? I absolutely do. I have learned to bracket through this class and hopefully after this podcast, you can learn to bracket as well. I have said the word bracketing a few different times and you're probably like, what is bracketing? Well, let me tell you. Bracketing is when you put aside your own opinion to look at the facts or to look at how somebody else views the same topic. When you bracket, you don't put your opinions onto somebody else's and you try to see why their opinions are the way that they are. The Washington Post has failed to bracket, okay? No bracketing was done in this article. In actuality, a numerous amount of remarks were made towards Dr. Stella Emanuel without trying to understand where she's coming from. Such remarks include saying that her statements were particularly outlandish and calling some of the things she believes an old myth. Now, by definition, myth has two different meanings. It is either a traditional story, especially when concerning the early history of a people, explaining some natural or social phenomenon, or it is a widely held but false belief or idea. This Washington Post article has insinuated just that, saying she falsely claims that issues such as endometriosis, infertility, miscarriages, and STIs are evil deposits from the spirit husband. Now, before taking the class, I also thought that this was a false claim, and I could not understand why she could possibly be saying these things. But to understand her, it is imperative to understand Umbaga. Now, Umbaga directly translates to second spear. Now, the word and the meaning of Umbaga originates back to the Azande people. The story goes, if two people go out hunting, and one throws a spear that punctures the animal, if that second hunter throws a spear, that kills the animal, even though the first one punctured it, they both get to share the meat. Now, Umbaga is that second spear. Now, let me tell you how it correlates to our situation. If the first spear that punctured the animal is the scientific reason behind the illness, whatever illness we may be talking about, it does not have to be endometriosis or infertility or whatnot, the second spear would be the witchcraft meaning that people with traditional African beliefs know that the reason a certain illness is happening is scientific. But why it's happening to you at that time is of witchcraft. There's an underlying reason of why it's happening to you in this specific time period. So here in Dr. Emanuel's quote-unquote claim that endometriosis is caused by sleeping with a demon, she knows that there's a scientific reason behind you getting endometriosis. The reason that it may be happening to you right now in this specific time is because of witchcraft. And similar to this Washington Post article, a lot of Global North media coverage of Global South is not bracketed. Just because we do not understand a belief doesn't make it false. Now, despite all the problems that this article does in fact have, there is a quote that I very much liked that I want to reference in here today. It says, people don't know what is real. People get hurt. Now, is there any way you can know why you got a specific illness at a specific point in time? No, you can know what caused it, but you will not know why it happened to you. There is no way to know that. So with this quote, people don't know what is real, people get hurt. We don't know if that's real. We don't know if that's a possibility. So us attacking this belief for not fitting in with the social norm in the global north does not mean that this belief is false. 
we as people are entitled to have different opinions and different beliefs, but it is imperative to respect those opinions. Respect the culture, respect the belief, try to understand where this person is coming from. The Washington Post has not done that. And while it may appear that President Trump has not made the same mistake as the Washington Post, since he did retweet Stella Emanuel's video without giving her any criticism or making any judgments towards the points that she made that seemed so rational to the global north, he actually mentions that he knows nothing of her. I quote, he says, I do not know what country she comes from. And there comes a great danger with retweeting things about a person or of a person that you know nothing of. Advocating for something you have never heard about or have ever researched is just as bad as criticizing someone without knowing anything about them. And let me read off another statement that was tweeted. This was done by a physician and scientist by the name of Eugene Gu. He says, just because someone is a doctor, it doesn't mean that person is smart. This is very ironic to me, considering that this guy is a physician and a scientist, and yet he has made this statement without bracketing. He made a speculation about something he knows nothing of. This is a common theme around here. It's a common theme in the Global North media. And one final statement that I want to point out that was made in this article reads, but Emmanuel stands out for beliefs that are particularly out of step with scientific consensus. Now that we know what Mbaga means, we can understand that that is completely not true. That's the reason why the first spear is there in the first place. The first spear is what causes a disease to occur. It is the scientific consensus. It is the scientific reason behind an illness. What this article fails to point out is the second spear. It's the Umbaga. It fails to point out that there could be underlying reasons behind the why it's happening to you. This was not the only article done on Stella Emanuel. This was not the only article that basically attacked her for her traditional beliefs. Because of media sources like this, Stella Emanuel has gotten so much hate from people that do not know anything about her culture, from people that refuse to bracket just like the Washington Post did. And now let's take this out of context and put this into any conversation you have with a friend or a family member that may have different beliefs than you. You may walk away thinking that this person is stupid, when in reality, you just don't understand where this person is coming from. So I'm hoping now, after you set through all of that, Next time you get into a scruffle with a friend or a family member or a stranger, you can try to bracket and put away your opinions to the side for a brief moment just to hear this person out. Thank you for listening. I will be back next week to dismantle another topic on the Speculation Desolation podcast.